Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a requested tutorial on how I made these jelly key fobs. Now they totally remind me of those jelly sandals I used to wear in the 90s, so I'm feeling pretty nostalgic here. But anyway, I posted them on my Instagram. By the way, make sure you follow me there for more crafty posts. I also posted on my channel community tab and seemed like a lot of you guys wanted to know how I made them. So here we are. They are very simple and easy to make. They're just held together by snap buttons. And the best part is no sewing required. So let's learn how to make them so you can add an extra cuteness to your handmade charms. So here are the materials you will need. First, you'll need some jelly vinyl fabric. I got mine from AliExpress, but I've also seen some on Etsy and eBay. Just search for the best price because places like AliExpress change their prices all the time. You'll also need some snap buttons. I'll be using plastic ones since I have a bunch left over from when I used to make bibs for my son, but you can use metal ones if you'd like. Mine was a set, so it did come with the pliers and the needle tool. Also, before I forget, I do want to mention the buttons are size T5, which is around 12 millimeter wide. You'll also need a rotary cutter. You can use scissors too, but I find the rotary cutter better since it gives a cleaner, straighter cut. You'll also need a ruler and some key ring findings. So the vinyl does have a plastic protective film on the design side. So we're going to flip it over and cut the back side since it's easier to cut. The length of this vinyl is already 20 centimeters, which is the perfect size for the key fobs. So all we have to do is make a single cut down this way. Now the width of the key fob is going to depend on your keychain finding. I'm going to be using a standard key ring, so I don't want to go wider than half an inch. For the snap buttons, there are four parts. You have the two cover caps, a female component, and a male component. Now let's mark where the buttons are going to be. I measure 6 16th inch from the top and then a quarter inch across from there. Use a needle tool to poke a hole through it. Put the cap through that hole, making sure the design side is on the same side of the cap face. Then attach the male component and press them together with the pliers. This is optional, but I like to trim off the corners. Now bring the other end up to around 1 inch from the top, like this. Then make the same markings as previous. With the needle tool, poke a hole through both layers. Put the cap through the hole on the same side as the first cap. Then attach the female component and press. And 
and all you have to do is attach your keyring finding and voila all done attach them to your handmade charms and make them extra special i hope you guys enjoy this quick and easy tutorial comment down below and remember to like this video and subscribe for more crafty videos thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video bye